play Paul Cummings. He's a really young resident at the hospital. Actually, the first episode is his first day on the job, so year one. And uh, he's basically just a really eager guy, a uh, little bit squeamish perhaps, which is not necessarily a thing to be in an ER, but he's so used to being in the books that it's, uh, it's a new thing for him. Uh, and I think a very sensitive guy overall as, as far as how he responds to people, but it also lends itself to you know, how he treats his patients because uh, you can easily lose track of people when things are going crazy, but he really focuses on the people and he uh, gets to the bottom of what's going on with them. But uh, it's also negative in the way that he responds to maybe the hazing and the teasing that goes on because he's not really trying to take that. So it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting thing to play. Yeah. <laughs> So why exactly the night shift? What drew him to that? Uh, Paul, to the night shift? Uh, well, I think it was actually just the chance to work underneath TC. He's a big fan. Uh, he, he thinks he's like a, a rock star, and so he found it out he was on the night shift, and that was what he got. He went after it. So he's uh, really excited to be underneath him, and I don't think he's necessarily used to his style yet, but uh, he's getting there. So. so what's it like working with Owen? Oh, it's it's always a lot of fun, especially because we're friends off. Uh, so. When we are basically in between takes, it's always just a lot of joking around and messing around in general. We keep it really light. Uh, so sometimes you just got to like snap back into a serious scene because we're never serious in between. So it's just a lot of fun, and it's really just nice, our characters in particular, playing off of each other because we have such an awkward relationship, but I think there's something there as far as him caring about me and vice versa, but we just don't really know how to... We're completely two opposite people, so it's, it's very fun working with him in that way. This might be because of the scene we saw you filming uh -huh. today, but what is what can you tell us at least at this point about his love life? Like, oh, who, who is this girl? Oh, uh, that's that's something I don't even know yet. We're just kind of uh, figuring that out. It's news to me that I even have a girlfriend. Uh, so uh, basically, he's just awkward in all phases of life. And oh, uh, what is he supposed to be? He's 24. He's okay. 24. Would, yeah. I thought maybe he was like a Doogie Hauser style and then that all would make a lot of sense. Exactly. Well, they, we actually just uh, played a little Doogie joke last episode, of course. But uh, yeah, he's just a really young guy. Um, graduated college a bit early and he's just a young resident, but he's 24. And um, yeah, he's uh, not that successful with the ladies. I think he's primarily been focused so much on, you know, school and whatnot, uh, his, you know, whole family, they're made of surgeons, his father, grandfather, brothers, that sort of thing, so his focus has never really been elsewhere, he just randomly has a girlfriend, but wouldn't know what to do with her, you know, so it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting to find out what happens with that, yeah. What would you say would be the one word that typifies who he is, who's Paul? Sensitive, really. In, th in many different aspects. He's just a really sweet guy, but I think he just takes in everything that's going on. That's why he's so affected when, you know, people are hurt or there's a wound or, you know, somebody's in, in need. He's always there, and uh, I don't think he's really fully aware of how to process that yet, but it's, it's going to be a powerful tool for him later on. So just a really sensitive, open guy. Yeah. This might be thinking too far ahead, but is there ever going to be like more newbies where he can start playing pranks on I mean, newcomers? I mean, you know what? If we get that far, that would be amazing. I think I think uh, that would be a great idea. The whole idea of a hospital is that there's going to be new interns coming in every year, so that would be an amazing position to be in. Maybe uh, during year three, when I'm in Brendan's position, you know, I could start kind of schooling the new interns. That'd be a lot of fun, and I, I hope that by that point, he's at a, a place where he's comfortable enough to do something like that. So. Seems like um, Paul and Drew do a lot of scenes together. Yeah, What's sure. the dynamic there between them? Uh, basically, um, Drew is a uh, intern in, uh, or a resident, I'm sorry, intern is a year one resident. So he's in resident in year three. So he's basically just been through what we're all going through, me and uh, Jean Ann's character. Um, so he's just kind of schooling us and easing the path along, but he's also kind of in on a lot of the jokes that are going on. It's a, it's a hazing thing that you, you do to bring in the new guys. It's like, okay, you're here to work with us, but we're going to mess with you a bit, you know? So that's our relationship, and it's, it's actually a lot of fun. He's, he's always been very supportive to the character of Paul, and uh, we work great together. Yeah. How'd you celebrate when you first got this role? Because it's, it's a pretty <laughs> big deal. I mean, you land a role, and you get a guaranteed eight episodes. Yeah, you know what? The funny thing is it all happened so quickly. There was really no time. Like, I literally went in for it on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then by Thursday I was in New Mexico filming the pilot for a month. There was no time to process. It's still kind of random and crazy that we're all here, but we all feel really lucky because we all love each other, and the fact that we get to come to work every day and you know work together is just, couldn't ask for anything else, really, yeah. What do you think audience is going to really love about your show? I think they're going to love uh, the way that our characters in interact with each other, and I mean 
the love relationships, I mean the humor that we have between each other because we all really connect on a genuine level in real life and I think that comes across in a big way on screen. So I think people are going to really enjoy that. And just the crazy stuff we're doing every episode. I mean, you have no idea. Every episode is something huge going on. It's, we heard it's about really like the helicopter explosions. Oh, yeah. There's <laughs> helicopter explosions. There's wild boar hunts. There's, I mean, it's just insane. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. So I think people are going to really enjoy it. Is there any medical information that kind of blew your mind, like a certain procedure that you're like, that is how they fix that? Uh, I have to say I did this last episode. I performed a lateral canthotomy, which is uh, basically uh, cutting away, well, first numbing the tissue right next to the eye and then cutting away tissue. Uh, if there's too much blood pressure behind the eyeball, it will kill the optic nerve. So you have to cut away and cut a nerve in there to relieve the, or cut a tendon rather, to relieve the uh, the pressure, and then the eyeball goes back in. But it basically pops out, and if you don't wait, it'll it'll kill the nerve. You'll be blind. What's uh, the effect that goes along with that? Like how how that do they we show have, that? We have a great uh, you know practical effects team that just do makeup, and and it it looks crazy in real life. It's not like a special effects thing. I mean, I'm sure there's additional things, but like. They do an amazing job. I went in and was like, oh my god, I can't even look at that. It's really crazy to watch.